Happy day! Hello fellow lone wanderers and vault dwellers. A few hours ago I was looking out my window and lo and behold there was the postal truck with a blue box in hand. So we got scavenge. Number 10. Long overdue. I think it was due in August. We're only supposed to get one more. That was scheduled so we're not going to be able to fully build Liberty Prime. That's between here and there. So we got the reckoning on the inside. Uh, the reckoning is a variation of the Ripper that is in Fallout 4. So let's get on with it. I was excited when I opened up the box. I've already got it open, pre-cut, everything else. So I'm excited. Uh, number item number one is the reckoning scale model. Before the Great War, soldiers used weaponized chainsaw called rippers all the time but we heard rumors about a special one tracking down smiling Larry was no easy task we thought he'd be more smiley uh, but we managed to buy this reckoning scale model from him and that is the first item so we've got the reckoning scale model of the ripper as it is called we cut I'm not going to take it out of its Plastic, because I'll end up rocking something like I usually do. Lay it out up to the side, so there we do. We've got the chainsaw reckoning of the ripper, as it's called. Item number two is the Fortune Finder perk pin. Getting the Fortune Finder perk in Fallout 4 helps you find more caps in random places. Not inappropriate places, just places you wouldn't expect. This pin probably doesn't have the same effect. I guess they meant in the real world. I did not get the rare one. I've got the solid gold one. As you can see, it says scavenge, so this is crate, crate number 10. I'm going to miss these crates. I really am. Uh, number th the Item number three, I was smiling very big when I opened up the box and saw the cover of one of these and you'll see in a second. It's the Pulp Notebooks. There's more to find in the wasteland than just weapons, radiation poisoning, and people desperate for companionship. You can also snag a few magazines. Now I had just watched Oxhorn's Fallout Shrine yesterday about all his Fallout collection of the various things and he had found where someone had printed out the covers of several of these magazines that you find in Fallout 4 to include the wear and tear and everything else but these are notebooks Fallout Crate notebook set we got two of them in here and I love the cover of this one the astounding tales the astounding awesome tales number six the attack of the fishmen now, back in the 80s, when HBO first came out, uh, I was living in an apartment, and the first movie I watched on HBO was Humanoids of the Deep, I think it was called. I didn't look it up on IMDb, and basically the fishmen looked like this, and they were terrorizing a beachfront property, and of course, you know, killing all the men and making love to all the women. <laughs> Strange movie. And then we also got Tesla's Science Magazine, issue number 8, which is the giant super weapons. So, the Tesla magazines. And I love the inside. The paper looks like it's old, water damage, ancient. Don't know what kind of notes I'm going to put in these. Maybe something personal. But like I said, I was happy. I was really smiling when I saw the, these lying at the bottom of the box. Item number four is our Liberty Prime Build-A-Figure left arm. We gotta hand it to you. You're more than halfway to rebuilding Liberty Prime, Titan of Democracy, and all-around exceptional symbol of patriotic pride. So we have the left arm. Like I said, pre-cut. Except I didn't unwrap this one. I did unwrap my perk pin. Because it's trying to get that plastic. So we've got the left arm. To Liberty Prime. Looks like he's reaching out for something. Liberty Prime here. At least a greater share of him. And that one slides on. Oh, there goes the leg. See, I told you I was going to drop something. 
I wasn't kidding. All right, square peg, round holes. And we've got Liberty Prime. So now we're up to four items. We got the torso, we got the two legs, we got the left arm. As the demise of Loot Crate, we're only supposed to get the fifth arm and not the head. Maybe we'll get fortunate that maybe they'll make them let them make a special purchase and give us the right arm and the head in Loot Crate number 11 and the final Loot Crate that we're going to get. I mean, it'd be kind of silly for us not to complete Liberty Prime, but that's not our problem, I guess. It's their problem. And last but not least is the Fortune Finder per figurine. Want to find cool pre-war stuff? Here's a helpful hint from the Vault Boy. Start scavenging. This cool figure is based on the Fortune Finder perk from Fallout 4, which makes a great display piece for any display shelf. So it matches our lovely perk pin that we got. Yeah, don't see much. Pre-cut. And let's see. It has a base. More tape. And the base has a tire and some random junk on it. Part of an I-beam and of course looks like scorched earth so to speak and oh he doesn't have vault 111 on the back side I figured he would say vault 111 on the back side all right more Fit in there, and there we go. We've got. Well, there's even a um, couple meters and some buttons on the back side. I don't think you can see it on his metal detector or whatever kind of detector this is. I've been thinking about buying a metal detector because I live in Texas and I have an open field out behind me, and I'm kind of wondering what kind of strange things have happened out in my neck of the woods. I know there were minor skirmishes way back when but that is the final thing of our loot crate for fallout scavenge loot box number 10 as we see in our loot pin i love this outfit this guy's got on the postcard i don't know if you can see it very well but it looks more like a space uniform because it's got a enclosed helmet and everything else and it looks more like a bazooka on his back than a fat man and it looks like he's holding some kind of flamer in his hand. So it's kind of a neat suit. Something like a, for a space, more for space than, but then again, it could be a biological outfit for all I know, future lives one. So that is it for Scavage Loot Crate Fallout number 10. I'm gonna miss these. But in a way, I kind of blame Fallout, or not Fallout, but Loot Crate for relying on on China. All the stuff in this Loot Crate was made in China. And we all know we've been having tariff wars with them. So I mean, some of this stuff is, can't be that expensive to make in America. So some of this stuff is probably held up in all the lovely tariff wars. Sorry to see Loot Crate go, especially Fallout and my Firefly. I was getting tired of the Star Trek because it was so, so few. I mean, it's almost two years of Star Trek started out and I only got three boxes. I don't think I'm getting any more of those boxes. My fedora. My fedora is an Indiana Jones original. Uh, I think right after uh, Temple of Doom came out, because it does say 1984, in my hat. This is a Stetson. Uh, I went shopping one day by myself. Wife wanted to stay home with the kids, or kids, kids, probably kids. And I went to a company called May DNF in Denver, Colorado. So if any of you people from Denver or Colorado remember May DNF back in the day to the department store, I was looking at shirts or something like that and I glanced over and here was a rack of our, a shelf of hats 
all these. So I bought one. Used to have a nice little fancy pin right here, but somehow it ended up in my ex-wife's uh, jewelry case. So, so that is it for Fallout number 10, as I said before. Sorry I rambled a little bit, but got stories to tell, but don't know what else to say. Can't wait. This was supposed to come out, I do believe, August 22nd. I think it was scheduled. I remember reading what the schedule to. So we're going to get number 11 probably in October. Hopefully it comes on time. And hopefully we get the head for Liberty Prime. I hope we do. I mean, it's... Or maybe they can send it to us later on. I don't know. I haven't heard any word on Loot Crate since the, the um, bankruptcy and getting the email explaining everything. Basically, yeah, all your funds are frozen because that's what happens in a bankruptcy. So I'm probably losing money in uh, Star Trek, not Star Wars, as I said earlier. Probably losing money in Firefly because they sent us two supplementary uh, Loot Crates. That ate up a couple months but I probably paid for six so I got three out of the six loot crate probably since we're not going to get box number 12 with Liberty Prime's head probably losing only one month or one box on Fallout it's been a good run I'm going to miss Fallout as I said I'm going to miss Firefly most of all I would love to see what season two look like we only got one box for season two and they started out with Kaylee again which was really nice and so this is Chief signing off I play Fallout 4 all the time maybe too much so happy motoring nope that ain't this phrase from there but hey it's been a good trip Wish it could continue. This is Chief signing off.